Marek, hi. Hi, great to meet you. Uh, great to meet you. Thanks for your uh, very, very specific, very important words concerning supporting Ukraine. That's very kind. Yeah, during your presentation. It's the right thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> during your presentation in uh, third geopolitical summit. You are Polish, Britain expert, independent expert. But I can ask you one question concerning the current situation between the uh, Ukraine and Poland from your independent perspective. You know that in Ukraine there are a lot of uh, rumors and uh, different opinions about what is happening between uh, Poland and Ukraine. Poland is our ally. Polish nation is our ally against Russian aggression. So how you estimate the current situation? Well, there's no question that Poland is absolutely committed to Ukraine, to Ukrainian independence, to doing what it can in militarily and politically to, number one, uh, help Ukraine in its current uh, fight against Russia. As you know, Poland has contributed substantial military equipment into Ukraine. There's also a logistics hub in Poland. Poland is working with the United States mm -hmm. as a transit mm -hmm. country for supplying Ukraine. And there's been a tremendous humanitarian help as well, as you well know. We are in the middle of an election campaign. We have elections on the 15th of October. And the issue of grain is something which is unfortunately a very hot, hot uh, election topic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that it's been dragged into that election debate. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll see, but it's not just Poland that has an issue with mm -hmm. Ukrainian grain. It's, a, it's an issue that other Central European mm -hmm. countries have raised, including Slovakia, Romania, uh, other countries as well. So it's not just a Poland issue. And I think I am, I, I can't speak for the Polish government, but I think Poland remains committed to Ukraine, particularly on issues such as uh, NATO entry. Mm -hmm. But of course, EU entry or EU membership or closer EU relationship will have to deal with difficult issues. Mm -hmm. And it's not just grain. There are other outstanding issues on the, both on the bilateral level and on the more institutional level between Poland and, and Ukraine. But if you have a high quality of leadership uh, in Ukraine, in Kiev and in Warsaw, Ultimately, everyone recognizes the reality mm -hmm. of that Ukraine needs support. So I'm sure there will be a long-term, very, very good relationship between Poland and Ukraine. Uh, do, uh, do you understand correctly that these problems which we have now between Poland and Ukraine, to some extent connected with the domestic situation in Poland? Very much so. Although, obviously, one hopes that it is a short-term mm -hmm. thing. Uh, personally, it's, 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 I find it... Uh, uh, unfortunate that there has been this dispute. Mm -hmm. I hope it doesn't leave any uh, lasting scars on the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But over the last two decades, po Poland and Ukraine have shown themselves to be very mature mm -hmm. about recognizing each other's uh, issues. And I think that's the healthy aspect of the Polish-Ukraine relationship, that if you, we are friends, we talk openly <laughs> about uh, what is a problem and we resolve it. And I'm sure this matter will be resolved as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for your Thank independent you opinion. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Slava Ukraina.